Okay, so Dr. Buford, we're just getting started on the right knee. We're looking in the medial compartment, and we can see this meniscus is not in great shape. We're going to start with our shaver because it has suction attached to it, and this will allow us to pretty easily remove the really loose parts of the meniscus. We're probably going to need a slightly curved up pair of scissors or meniscal biters in just a minute. Can you turn up our light source, please? Yeah, see it's on 20%, yeah, go up to like 60 or 70. Okay, that looks good. We can see there's quite a bit of uh, irregularity in the femoral condyle up above also. I'm gonna need um, the light wave wand. Uh -huh, okay, and so now we're gonna go ahead and go off on the video just for a minute and get to work on this posterior meniscal tear. Okay, now we're looking in the lateral compartment. You can see there's some tearing on the meniscal inner edge here. And again, we're using our shaver as a preliminary step to see how much we have to resect. And this is where we've got some significant tearing in the posterior horn that may be an issue we're going to have to deal with in just a second here. So we'll keep working here. I'm going to start on the anterior horn so we can clear a space so we can see really well here. You can see up, you, up above, if you look at the femoral condyle, it's not quite normal either. Okay, we'll keep working here, show you some more in a little bit. Okay, so we've trimmed back as little meniscus as possible, but we still had to take a fair amount of the poster horn out in order to get you back to a stable meniscus. That looks better. You can see you've got areas on the tibial plateau here where it's yellow, where you've lost all the cartilage. So you've got advanced arthritis, no doubt. The femoral condyle on this lateral side is not so smooth either. So um, all in all, I think we've done the best we can here today and hopefully our bone marrow concentrate injection will, will get you some relief also. But at least that meniscus shouldn't really bother you like it was. Okay, let me see if I can focus that any better. That's about it. So next we're going to look at the patellofemoral joint, okay? Okay, this is the patellofemoral joint at the top of the screen. And just as expected, it's not normal either. You've got a fair amount of arthritis here. It's not too bad over here on the lateral facet, but the cartilage overall is pretty thin. And as we get closer to the medial facet, you can see how frayed it is. Now we'll look down in the trochlea and not too, too bad in the trochlea. So we're going to be finishing up here. We'll get you back to the recovery room shortly. Hopefully this will do the trick for you. Okay. Good luck to you now. Bye-bye. Okay. I just want to get one final good look at the trochlea. You do have a fair amount of cartilage loss here. You can see the ridge underneath the patella. This device just helps us stop any bleeding, really. It has a little bit of suction on it. But we can see here that this is uh, not smooth either. So I just want to give you that final look at the trochlea. So we're going to finish up now and get you back to the recovery room.